What's the key, brother? UCC, the Constitution, and USC. Give me the book of second. Give me the book of uh, Mark chapter 13 and verse 2. Give me the book of Mark chapter 13 and verse 2. Right? Because this land that you're calling yours, it's finna get destroyed. Right? And this place finna go down. Right? Hey, bring that out real quick. And we, and we got ever sure confidence in the Lord that the Lord gonna deliver us out of it. Alright? On the boat, on the ship, no, and, 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 and the Lord's chariots. In the Lord's chariots. Alright? We're gonna bring it out. Oh, praise it, man. We oh, are here praise. another week, right? To bring out the words of the Lord, right? To wake up you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 5. No. Right, because we got to come out here week in and week out because our people don't have no understanding, right? They understand the things of this world, but not the things of God. God, bring that out. Most High God's servants, right? It said in the book of uh, 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 Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13, that's our duty on the earth to serve the Most High, to fear God and keep his commandments. Right? Right. So he said uh, he formed us from the womb to be his servants, you know? And, it, and now says the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. To bring Jacob up again to him. What we doing? To bring Jacob again to him. So we were servants to bring Jacob again to him, right? Because Israel is scattered. But we have to bring them back to the Lord, right, Renan? Though Israel be not gathered. Right, because they not gathered, right? Because they scattered across the four corners of the earth. We don't have to be disobedience, right, you know? Yet shall be glorious. It's a lot. Yet shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, hey, brother. Hey, brother. You got a minute real quick? All right, all right brother. All right, hey, somebody got a flyer? Get a, get a flyer. Get a flyer real quick, brother. All oh, praise. All right, we'll be Israelites. We got to repent. Keep the commandments. All right, bring it, bring it out again. His servant to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall he, yet shall I, to do to raise up the tribes of Jacob right to wake up the 12 tribes right because they sleep right now right and they in the day in the midst of their wickedness right they in the midst of their sin right we got to try to pull them out of there so they can get the salvation that the Lord has in store for us hey brother what's going on hey brother brother you listening all oh, praise what's going on Shalom Shalom my brother all oh, praise you know you're Israelite no, I ain't no Israelite. I'm a, uh, I'm an Indian. You're Indian? Yeah, I'm indigenous to this land. I ain't You're indigenous. You're indigenous to this land. Yeah, I'm Give me the second edge of chapter 13 and verse 40. And 39. <laughs> All right, so what happened to the people that was in this land? Brother, what happened to the people that was in this land? We got colonized by Europe. Right. Exactly, 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 exactly. Right, and why did that happen? It's because they were stronger than y'all? No, because we uh, opened our heart up and showed them love and okay, they okay. told them what they called it. Right, right, right. Now, what if I told you that in the Bible, it was prophesied that, that these people, which was in this land, was actually from Israel, was actually Israelites? No, nah, I, right. I wouldn't agree with that. Okay, check this out. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13, and verse 4. Four. Right, 
right? So in the Bible, right, the so-called uh, Native Americans would actually make up the tribe of Gad, of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? We're going to bring it out, though. Second Edges. Okay. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 13, verse 39. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 12, and verse 39. But wait, but wait, down here thyself. Second, second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 39. Chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners. Well, you know that's a metaphysical book, right? 39. It's not, it's not to be, be. And whereas thou saw, sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him. 30, I mean, 40. Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of O.C., the king, who Samanasseh, the king of Assyria, carried, carried away captive. Right, so it was 10 tribes that was carried away captive by the Assyrians, right? And we're gonna read what happened and how they came over here to this land. I got you, though. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. 41. But they took this council amongst themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a farther country where never mankind dwelt. He said where never mankind dwelt, which is here, right? Which they, which they call America now, right? So they fled from persecution, fled from captivity into this land where we are right now, right? We don't. Forty-two, that they might keep, that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Forty-three, and they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Right, so this is telling them, telling you how they got to this land, right? We you don't. Know? Forty-four, for the Most High then showed them, then showed signs for them, and held still the flood till they passed. To their word, Pat. To the word they. Hold on. Okay. My so Forty-four. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. Forty-five. For though that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. So it took them a year and a half to get from that region all the way over here. Right, which was a place where never mankind go, right? Which is where the so-called Indians would be from today. Okay, you know the, we have history here over 10,000 years old. The, you gotta prove that. It's proof, bro. The Mayans, bro. Yeah, the Mayans would be Israelites. Right, they go back. Bring it, you gotta bring that out now. We got, we got, got the historian now. They never called themselves Israelites. That's you a, got the a modern European name. That's what they were. That's a modern European name. That's what they from the books that Jai wrote, we can approve it. Let's read by a so-called white man. Let's check this out. This says Maya. It said the Maya Indians built a remarkable civilization in Central America at its height from AD 300 to 800 to the 800s. Society may have included about two million persons. The Maya achieved understanding, success in astronomy and arithmetic. Said they were the only Indians in America to develop an to develop an advanced form of writing. Maya, arch Maya architecture and art. 
have won the admiration of the world. The Maya lived most of the present day Guatemala, British Honduras, and parts of Mexico, including the territory of Quintana Roo and the states of Yucatan. They said, and they said, uh, Campeche, Tabasco, and the Eastern Chiefs. Like, you know, Yucatan, I got a, I got a no, book on that too. What he just said. No, you just said no, they brought heathens over here. No, I never said that. He, he, no, he I just said that. the ten, I just said the ten tribes came over here. Which will make up these people right here that we read. Right? So you, you gotta follow. You gotta listen, brother. Over, no, I never away. said that. I never said that. I said that they fled from their persecutors and from the place they was captive and went over here on their own. That's why you gotta listen, brother. Right? We breaking it down to you. Right? Bring it up. And it said they also lived in West El Salvador, Honduras. Much of the Maya homeland was covered with a dense tropical forest and lay only 200 to 600 feet above sea level. So, uh, and it says, basically this is just a, a brief history on who the Mayas are. Now you can check out these these photos right here about the about how they look, you know what I'm saying, how they, how they dress. They have fringes on, just like- Which, is, mean, a, which is a commandment, which of, is a God, commandment of God. Which right? we got on. If you see these fringes right here, this is a commandment that God gave. Like, why do they wear fringes? Tell me, tell give me the, book, give me the book of Numbers 15 to 38. Because it said we just read the second edges that came over here to keep their laws, right? Because they was in captivity, right? And they fled over here to a land that so they never made. Africa to not, over not Africa, right? They came, fled from the captivity of the Assyrians. Where was that at? Right? That's Geographic. Khan, Khan, bring it out real quick. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders of a ribbon of blue. Right, so if you see in that picture, so they had fringes they on with a ribbon of blue. But we were just, but we were just talking about the images first, right? The oh, images so is why. Oh, so okay, okay. We just, we just brought we, that out. It just said that. They had the fringes on. From, you said they fled from, from Assyria. Where is Assyria? Now oh, they said somewhere over there in the northeast. North Africa. Yeah. So you saying they came from Africa? Right. But it was people who already heard of. But no, I said that they. It was a land that never mankind built. It was no man in what this I'm land. Saying, it's history here holding it. You have to prove. You haven't proved anything yet, though, brother. We just put out a encyclopedia, the words of the Lord. I got right. Come, bring it up. Because the, the people uh, over here, the, how you said the Indians, right? It would be uh, it would be Zebulon, who are the Maya. You have Issachar, who is the, the so-called Mexicans, and you have Gad, who is the so-called Native Americans. And these all these people would make up the Northern Kingdom That's right. of Israel. Because right. according to That's the script, right. according to the scripture, right. you listening, brother? I'm hearing. You listening? Are you listening though? Heard, heard. All right, so listen to this. The Most High, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it, it, it talks about in the scriptures about how the Lord, how the Most High separated the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because of the Northern Kingdom, they went into idolatry and all this other paganism stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that they was led captives in the land. You know what I'm saying? That they fled to. So, so they fled from Af uh, they East fled, Africa listen, to over here. You listen, brother? I'm listening. All right, so look, they didn't come from East Africa. Uh, most of our people went to West Africa. When we, fled, West Africa, when we fled, when we fled, when we fled, when we fled Israel, when we fled Israel, brother, we went, we fled, we, we got, how don't we? It's already geographically, ge ge geologically proven that it was like, what, over, over three million something Israelites went to West Africa. Right, but those 10 tribes, they fled way before they, that the uh, other tribes went into West Africa, right? So that's why you got the people that's, Call Indians over here in this land now, so right? That was conquered by the conquistadors. And this is and this is uh from uh from the uh, black symbol uh dot uh dot medium dot com, and it said it said I uh, said okay, and this is going into some history on Zebulon, the tenth born son of Jacob, tribe of Zebulon settled in Central America from Guatemala to Panama today. They were known as Mayas and were still. And, it's a, and still are often associated with the Aztecs, Issachar, now known as Mexicans, 
Moses also associated them together in Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter, when giving them, the tribes, their blessings before they passed away. You can read about that in the book of uh, Genesis, the 49th chapter. And it said, it said, his words now stand as prophetic clues to see prophetic. This is something that was foretold, that came to pass. Clues to show that in both ancient Israel and in the Americas, these two tribes will be linked together. It said, I, and then it said, I went, I went, okay, I, okay, then I'm, I'm gonna hop down. And it says, uh, structures, uh, it said, okay, all right. It said, many people tend to think to think of Yucatan or Southern Mexico with area when they think of the Mayas, but the cradle of the Maya civilization is actually in host of the world's largest known pyramids. It said, La Danta, the temple of, of this picture right here, you can see it right here. Right here in the book of uh the book of Lord Kingsboro and the antiquities of, Me of Mexico. It said Avio says that the Indians of Nicaragua refrained from all work on, on the days dedicated to religious festivals, and the same custom existed among the Peruvians. See, it said they it said they refrained from work. Bro. What does it say on the seventh day bro. that you're supposed to do? Yeah, refrain home, from work. Yeah, home, bro. That ain't gonna help us, bro. Ain't so, none of this helping. You know what I'm saying? He said, what? How this gonna help? What you mean? How this gonna help? How this gonna, helping us progress? We're gonna show you. We're how how this helping our people progress? We're gonna show you. You go in a courtroom or anywhere and we're gonna, we're gonna show you, this, brother. And they tell you, please. Give me the book of, uh, give me the book of, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. This ain't helping. You don't even know. What, what, are we, what, are we, what are we out here preaching? Is that, so you don't know what you don't you don't know. We finna bring it out. You preaching what's been preached. Look at Deuteronomy. That book ain't helped us in five hundred. Chapter four, verse five. We finna tell you why it ain't work. We finna tell you why it ain't work. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judges. They teach us statutes and judges. A lot of people keep the law, statutes and commandments of God. I know people that see in their day. Do, do, our people, do our people keep the law, statutes, and commandments so that, of God? So this gonna stop you from getting persecuted. Do our people, anybody do our people keep too? the do our people keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God? See, you? brother, you can't answer the question. No. You said we you said we've been trying this for years and years, but we haven't kept the law, statutes, and commandments of God. We don't. No, we haven't. That's not, it, I know people that ain't never seen even as the Lord, my God commanded me. What's sin? What's sin? What is sin? Give me the book of First John three and four. You don't know what sin is. What is sin? What is sin? What is sin? sin? What is sin? Hate you're, not, sin. you're not answering the hate question, brother. Sin. This the book. What it ain't, but you ain't saying what it is. Anybody, Do this this the you. book of First John. When stop you, pull you out of the car. Oh, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, Chapter no. three, verse four. Oh, Whosoever committed Robert, sin, Robert, transgresses Robert, also Robert, the law. Robert, what? Whosoever Robert, committed Robert, sin, Robert, transgresses also Robert, the law. Robert, Robert, for sin is the transgression of the law. Say what? For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you break God's law, right? The Lord will be on your side if you continue to break the laws of the Most High, right? So that's why all these things is happening to our people, police stopping and killing you because you're not keeping the laws of God, right? You're not being obedient to the Most High, right? The Most High is not going to be on your side in those days, right? And I believe, I, I got I got ever sure confidence in the Lord that the Lord is going to deliver me out of that, right? Hey, give me the, uh, this don't help you at all. It don't help it nobody. Who has their help? This Who the has book, this help? This is the book of Did Lamentations. How? Brother. Brother. Hey, hey brother, how much? This ain't helping Sorry. nobody, brother. This is the book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter, Come verse on, number 18. Bro. It say they hunt our steps mean, that we Bring cannot up. go Stand in our streets. Our fruit. end is near. Give me the book of, uh, ain't helping, give me the book of, uh, first, uh, second Samuel, you chapter, uh, Think one and two. This, this the book. Of, this the book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter, and verse number eighteen. It says, "They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come." She said, "It's fine." All right, bring it up. It says, "Our persecutors are swifter than eagles of the heaven." It said. It said, it said our, our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains, and it said they lay wait for us in the wilderness. Oh, so, so that's that so so because you know because who who's like you just said like you just said can this help you? Can this stop you? 
Okay, they stop me from the so-called white man or the police. Listen, like I, I'm, I'm answering your question, brother. Get into you, Brother, I'm answering. Your, I'm answering your question. No, let me answer this, brother. Let me answer. Can I answer your question, brother? I'm gonna answer my question. You, you just up here to scoff, brother. That's right. You trying to build on another man's foundation. That's we out here, right. We out here bringing out the words of the Lord. We out here bringing out repentance for our people. Right? And you trying to hinder that, man. Right? You out here trying to be like Satan. Right? You trying to hinder it. Talking about, some, hey, sister, did you, did you, is this helping? Right? Hey, brother, you kind of scoffing out here. Right? What's the keys, brother? UCC, the Constitution. USC. Give me the book a second. Give me the book of uh, Mark chapter 13 and verse 2. Give me the book of Mark chapter 13 and verse 2. Right? Because this land that you're calling yours, it's finna get destroyed. Right? And this place finna go down. Right? They bring that out real quick. Because we, we got ever sure confidence in the Lord that the Lord gonna deliver us out of here. Right? On the boat, on the ship, no, and, 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 and the Lord's chariots. In the Lord's chariots. Alright? We're gonna bring it out. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? You see these buildings that the so-called white man stole from you, right? And build on your land that you calling yours, read on. That shall not be left one stone upon another. He said what? That shall not be one stone left upon another. All right, so these, hey, these places going to get uh, thrown down, down, right? But ICBM missiles, so World War Three, no right? You said what? How long have you been hey, we not waiting on we not waiting on Jesus. We waiting on we waiting on Yahweh. Hey! Right? How long have you been waiting on Yahshua? He said what? Give me the book of uh, give me the book of Psalms, chapter twenty and verse twenty two. Do we got a time and a date so I can put it in my phone? Ain't no time. Ain't no ain't, ain't no, no time. time no right? You gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. Nope. Right? Because if you know what time you know what time he was coming, you will, you will want to get right. You will wait to that last. You will wait to that wait to that last day to get right. Right? But that's why the Lord said, ain't no time. Right? He's right. coming like a thief in the night. When you, right. when you least expect it. Like my right? grandma, my great-grandma, give me the book of, they give me the, all been waiting give me the book of, uh, right. uh, second Andrews 9 and 1. Right? Because the Lord's showing his hand right now. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. Right? We're going to bring it up. Second Andrews 9 and 1. You can hold that. Bring, bring this up. <laughs> no, <it's not>. yeah. <laughs> bring it out real quick. You hey, right, you right, right now. Right. You there. You there. Chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me. Then I said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. The Lord said we got to measure the time diligently. We don't. Measure the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee. Right, so the Lord told us about signs that we got to watch. Right, you go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24, it's certain signs that we gotta watch that's leading up to him coming back. We don't? Oh, no, brother, you listen. Listen to the words of the Lord. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, you Therefore, when that shall be seen, earthquakes. Yeah, what? When that shall be seen, Earthquakes and uproars of the people. Earthquakes in diverse places all over the world, right? Killing that's people major. in Turkey, oh, right? Major. No, that's the Lord, oh, right? We don't. That's the Lord, we don't. So if you're on uproars of, you of, of the people right? in the world, of the people, we don't. Then shall thou well, <coughs> then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. And the end itself manifests. You said the what? And the end itself manifests. So we, we, we growing up into the end of the world, right? Which is this kingdom falling down. The place that you want to hold on to. Hey, this place going to fall, right? Oh, Which is called Babylon. Hey, this place going to get destroyed, right? By in World War Three, by Russia, Iran, by uh, China, That's right? By all these other That's nations that go. But brother, we don't want to. You, you, you love, you love, you love captivity. Wow. You love captivity. Give me the book. Of, give me the book. Of, uh, give me the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. We finna show you. We finna show you. Yeah, give me. No, nah, no. Nah, give me. Give me that. I'm gonna help you out, bro. We gonna show you, bro. Put it down, bro. Put it down. Pick up a gun. Put that Bible down. Pick up a gun. 
He said he that live by the sword gonna die by the sword. All right, what you, what, 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 what the gun gonna do against their army? <laughs> That's cause I own me. <laughs> what the gun? What the gun gonna do? Mr. Booker Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Give me, give me the book of Proverbs 28 and 1. <laughs> you can drop that. Your brother kind of had to get up out of here. Kind of got cut through the screw. Kind of got cut. You can't, you can't, you can't let Scarface talk too much. Or you got to bring out the words of the Lord and let the wor words of the Lord talk. All right? And Come, give me that Proverbs 28 Like they did Oklahoma City. Proverbs 28 and 1. Proverbs 28 and 1. Proverbs 28 and 1. Proverbs 28 and 1. You gotta repent and keep the commandments. Or you gonna die when this land get destroyed. Right? And that's that's saying the Lord. Right? Yeah, you yeah, you in the congregation of the dead because you have no understanding. Right? You have no understanding of the Lord. You have no understanding that the Lord's coming back to destroy the sinners. Right? The Lord's coming back to destroy. You said what? All right, bring it out. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee. Yeah, what? The, the wicked, wicked flee. flee. What? The, the wicked, wicked flee. flee. The wicked gonna flee. Right, read on. With no man pursuing. But the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous is bold as a lion. Right? So we got cut up through the spirit. Right? Because the, the, the word is like a two-edged sword. Right? It, it slices. It cuts. Right? It's like a hammer. It breaks you. It's like a fire. It's going to burn you up. Right? And the brother had to flee. That's right? right. When That's right. Sword, bring it up. This is the book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse number 4. Bring it up! Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is great in the kingdom of heaven. You gotta, hey, you gotta humble yourself. Brother came up proud. He already, he already knew who he was. That's why the brother kind of came up here with a contentious spirit, right? Wanted to bring out, man. What he said the UCC. In the, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know what type of type of man is he was talking about. Having there, there, like the brother he said, the laws of the water. Talking about the laws of the land and the laws of the water. But like, brother, that's not. Brother, we don't care about this land, right? We want this place to get destroyed. Well, give me the book. Of, uh, give me the book of Second uh, Peter, chapter three and verse nine. Right. This is what we out here for. We want people to come. Come, bring it up. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse nine. We want, our, we want our people to come to repentance, man. That's the whole. That's the whole point of this thing. To come back to the Lord, come to repentance. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. Right? He, he told us that he's going to deliver us out of here. Right? So we got to have confidence and believe that the Lord is going to deliver us. Don't be like that, brother. Oh, the Lord. They've been saying that for years and years. Right? Hey, well, how y'all going to get up out of here? Hey, the Lord told us how we're going to get up out of here. Right? So we got to actually believe these words. Have faith. We don't. As some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us were, us were not willing that any should perish. But that all should come and to come to repentance. He want all of us to come to repentance. So the Lord is long suffering, right? Hey, brother, you you looking for the Lord to come back, brother? You ain't ready. If he came back, brother, you'd be destroyed, right? The Lord gonna put you to death, right? So he long suffering and he wants you to come to repentance, right? That's like he said. Uh, give me Romans ten and one real quick, because we don't wish death on a brother. We don't want the brother to die, but hey, we want the brother to come back to the Lord and repent. Con, give me that Romans 10 and 1. That's that's the problem with our people. He kinda he kinda didn't have an answer for anything. Brother telling them what telling us what it ain't, but ain't telling us what it is, right? Because our people never kept these commandments. They said we've been reading this book forever and ever. We're not doing what the book said. He said, don't just don't be hearers of the word, we gotta be doers of the word also, right? Yeah, she, she, she don't want to hear the word. You don't want to repent and come back to the Lord, right? Hey, the Lord's going to kill a lot of people in these last days, right? The Lord's going to kill a lot of stiff neck, right, rebellious, hard-headed people, man. And our people, he's going to start with the house of the Lord. Right? The Lord's not going to be slack. All right, bring that up. This the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 1. Brother, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. what? For Israel is 
that they might be saved. That our hearts desire and prayer for Israel is that they might be saved, right? right. We trying to, we, we trying to give me, uh, give me Proverbs chapter eleven and verse thirty. Because that's what we are here to do, man. We trying to save our people, right? Trying to pull them out of the fire, pull them out of the destruction that's coming, right? Give me that. The fruit of righteousness is a tree of life. And he that win it so he that do what? And he that win it so you gotta be out here and win souls. And the Lord said, He that win it souls. I mean, you gotta win them over, right? Everybody not go, everybody not gonna come in it, but you gotta win these souls over, right? Meaning convert them back to the Lord, you know? Is wise. Is what? Is wise. So he that can win win his souls is wise. Right? So that's what we are here to do, is win the souls, right? Bring them back to the Lord. Was it more on that uh kind of no, 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 that was it, that was it, kind, kind, bring it out. This is the book of Acts, chapter five. How y'all doing, family? They got a minute? Hear the, word, hear the words of the Lord? Learn how to repent in these last days? All right, bring it out. This is the book of Acts, chapter five, verse 30. The God of our fathers. The God of who? The God of our fathers. He said the God of our fathers, right? The Israelites, you know? Right. Raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Right. And a savior. And a what? And a savior. And a what? And a savior. Uh -huh. For to give repentance to Israel. I said to do to do what? For to give repentance to Israel. Right, the Lord, Yahweh Shad, a God to give us repentance. Right. God for us to a turn back to uh, to the Lord. Right? Us to glorify the most high. Right? Us to come back to who we really are. Not being niggers, scoffers. Wanting to be a uh, uh, native to this land that's destined for destruction, right? But to be Israelites, to be to be repentant Israelites, keeping God's law, right? right. Keeping His commandments, right? right? And that's coming right. back to the covenant, right? Read on. Right. To get, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. And for, and that's mercy right. and forgiveness of your sins, right? Because right? we all should be dead in our sins, right? Right? Doing all type of wickedness. Right, and we should be dead, but the Lord said He gave us forgiveness of sins. Right, so hey, we can't we can't take that for for granted, man. Right, right? that the Lord died for our sins. Yahweh Shah. Right, right? And, and he and he said, give me a uh, second address, chapter nine and verse eleven. Because hey, the place of repentance is open right now. That's right. Hey, the, like we read uh, um, uh, second Peter. Hey, uh, hey, he long suffering because he wants you to enter to repentance. Hey, he giving you all this time. He's showing you the signs, but still giving you time to get right, to get, to get to, to come back to the Lord. He's sending he's sending this uh the the, the spirit of his uh the man on the uh to like you. This, he putting the spirit on man to come out here and teach you right what you got to do right. But you still you still uh casting it behind your back, bringing it out. Right. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter chapter nine, verse eleven. And they that have law, his law. I mean my law. While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. He said place of repentance was open unto them. Uh, 9 and 26. Like, when place of repentance was open unto them, they understood it not, right? Because they, they, they thought that this world, which was wicked, they could do whatever the hell they want to do, right? Was the way they wanted to go, right? But hey, the place of repentance meaning you gotta come back to the Lord and keep His commandments. It's open unto you right now, right? We don't. But despised it. it but, but despised it. Meaning, hey, we heard the word, we heard what we gotta do, but we don't give a damn. Right? We gonna we gonna continue to do wickedness. We gonna continue to go out and, and freak off. Right? What, what's the next holiday coming? I don't even know. Uh, what what Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. And we know it's going to be a damn shootout, probably a, a family brawl, right? It's going to be some type of madness going on on Memorial Day. Because Jake, all Jake want to do is smoke weed, drink, and eat. And, 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 and talk about and talk about bull crap. And play cards. <laughs> That's all they want to do. Right? It's, it is going to be a bunch of madness, right? Why? Because they're not keeping the commandments. They got grudges in their heart from 10 years ago. Oh, you, you did this and you did that. Right? When I see him, what uh what he said when I see him, I'ma kill him. 
right? Nah, man, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Push right? Me off the push me out the swing. Yeah. You breaking up old stuff. Yeah. Right? Still hold grudges in your heart against your brother. Yeah. Right? Against your sister. That damn brother spirit. Exactly, man. Oh, right? And they say the spies, you know? First twin. <laughs> the same must know it. Same gonna know it at the death by pain. Hold that, right? So, and you gonna have to, you gonna have to learn after you get put to death, right? You get burnt in that fire, right? Then you gonna understand, right? That the Lord was wasn't the one to play with, right? That we was out here speaking the truth. We was out here telling you that you gotta repent. Why the why the why the place of repentance is open right now? Right? Jump down to uh, where you at? Come on, give me fifteen. Verse fifteen. I have said before, and now thou speak, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which purse than of them which shall be saved. So you said gonna be many more of them that's gonna die and get put to death than them that's gonna give me uh give me second address chapter eight and verse one. Hold that. Give me second Ages eight and one. He said there's gonna be many more that get that get put to death, right? That perish than them that be saved. Cause the Lord said it's gonna be many, it's many called but few chosen, right? He said he made this world for many, but the world to come for few. Bring it out. Second Ages, chapter eight, verse one. Bring it out. And he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many. He said what? The Most High have made this world for many. Right, and the Lord made this world for many. Right? How many people in this, uh, how many, how, what's the population in the world? What, like seven billion? Right? It's seven billion people. Right, we don't? But the world to come is for few. He said what? But the world to come is for few. But the world that's coming is only for few. Right? So it's going to be many that perish in this, in this life. Right? And the world to come is only going to be for few. Only few going to be saved. Right? Hey, jump down to three real quick. Jump down to three. Verse three. There be many created. He said there be many created, but what? But few shall be saved. But few gonna be saved, right? So only a few or remnant people are gonna be saved, right? Which is the Israelites, right? That's right. That's right. Well, give me, uh, bring that out. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter nine, verse 26. Whoa. Nevertheless, they was disobedient and rebelled against thee. Right, so that's our people now. They, they still disobedient. They still rebel against the Lord, right? We know. And cast thy law behind their back. They said what? And cast thy law behind their back. Cast the laws behind their back. They might physically do it. We might, we might get them to get them to, uh, the starter kit or the, the, the laws, and they might throw the sign behind their back. Right? I don't want to keep them laws. Right? I know he said eat pork, but damn, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> the fridges look, the fridges look stupid. I ain't wearing those. Yeah. Right? But and they cast the laws behind their back. Right? They 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 still got that grudge in their heart for their brother. They still like the brother Gedalia say bouncing the, bouncing their brother wife up to the ceiling, man. <laughs> the madness, right, we don't And slew the prophets which testified against them. Right, they, hey, back then they were slowing the prophets, right? And that's coming back. Right? They said, hey, we're gonna have to die for this word, right? Get ca we might get cast into prison, right? Might get put to death. Right, hey, 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 this is brewing up. The same, he said, what the former days is, is gonna come again, right? It's no new thing under the sun, right? We don't. And cast thy law behind thy backs, and slew the prophets, them to, and slew the prophets that testified against them, to turn them to thee. And they wrought great providence. That's it, that's it. Right, so, hey, we, uh, we got uh, in the ancient days the people that was let's see, uh, finish that out real quick. Where's that top again? The prophets. The prophets. Yeah, okay. the slew that prophets. And cast thy law behind their backs, and slew the prophets which testified against them to turn them to thee. Right. So hey, they was out there telling them, hey, you got to turn back to the Lord, and they doing the same thing we doing right now, telling them, hey, y'all hey, got to repent. Y'all need to turn back to the Lord, right? Y'all need to start keeping these commandments, right? But they slew them, right? Because they ain't want to hear those things, right? They wanted to continue to do wickedness, right? Continue to uh, dwell in their sins, right? 
And, but hey, the Lord's gonna destroy him. That's why the Lord sent us out here to give him. Hey, the Lord said, "Give them warning from me." Right? We gotta give them warning that the Lord's coming back to to destroy a lot of people. That's the right. Lord's coming back to kill a lot of people. That's right. right? And that's love. Trying to pull them out of the fire. That's right. Right? Trying to pull them out. Right? So they can get saved. Right? But uh, let's hit on that. Let's sit on that. Give me that. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter nine, verse seven. Read up. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. Read that again from the top. What, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> See, that's, that's why this place got to get destroyed. Like a schoolgirl. <laughs> Verse 7. And every one that shall be saved. He saw it. Hey. That's, yeah, that's why. That's why this place got to get destroyed, man. Right? Because this is the this is the this is the land of confusion, right? Yeah. I just seen the video. It's an air, in the airport. You got uh uh gender neutral bathrooms. You just walk on in. You see. You see. You see Tom. You see he she. You see. You see everybody. Yeah. Everybody in there. Right? This is this is the Lord's not gonna let it get to where it's just complete mad. The Lord gonna destroy this place, man. Right? Read that again. Chapter nine, verse seven. And every one of them, and every one that shall be saved. Every one that shall be saved, how they gonna be saved? By what? And shall be able to escape by his works. By his what? By his works. Be able to escape by your works and what else? And by faith. And by faith. So it, it, you got to have works and faith, right? It's not just you doing whatever the hell you want to do, and, and you're going to get saved. Saying you believe. And you say you got to have works you go, and your faith, right? And you can show your faith by your works, right? That's plain. We don't. Come in the world, brother. Come check it out. Come check it out. Praises, all praises. What's going on, brother? How you feeling? How you feeling? You alive? All praises. And you gotta give all praise to the Most High for that. He woke you up, right? Right? Hey, uh, what we out here doing is we showing our people who we truly are in this world because this world gave us labels. They told us that we black. What is black? The black is a color. Out of a crayon box. Hey, you got hey, you hey, take take pictures, videos, whatever, brother. Right? This for you. This for this for your edification. Right? So black is just a color. Check this sign out. So the definition of black, if you go back to it, black is evil. Black is often used to express a lack of a lack of hope. Right? So if you think of anything black, black magic, the black market. The, the, the dark web. Anything, anything, anything labeled with black is negative. Don't you agree? And anything, with, anything with white is pure. So they put these. It's called colorism. They put these colors on us, right? To 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 really put us down in the spirit, right? So we not colors. Because if you look at your skin, what color your skin? Have you ever seen a black person? But they wasn't black. They was dark, dark brown. Yeah, it's like dark, dark brown. Not black. You know what I'm saying? Black is just a color, right? And what we're trying to show you is we all come back. We all go back to a certain land. Now you got the Chinese man. Where his land? Asia, China, right? Japanese goes to Japan, right? You got the Russian man. He goes back to Russia. Because if you told a Chinese man that he's Japanese, what are you going to say to you? You're crazy. I'm not, just because I look like, I'm not, no, I go back, I'm from, I'm, I'm from uh, Japan, right? So, where do we go back to? That's the question. Right? Everyone, but what part? What part are we from, though? What part can we call ours? What language can we claim? What heritage is ours? That's the, I mean, I mean, that's the question, right? That's the, that's the biggest tip because we came over here and all those things was taken from us, right? Right? So we have to figure out who we actually are. Because everybody else, they got their nationality. Right? They know who they are, right? But who this white, which they tried to push the gate to us, right? They 
from slavery and try to manipulate us and believe in lies, now the Lord is putting spirit on us to see who we actually are in this world. Give me the book of Ruth 2 and 32. All right, bring this out. Check this out. So the Bible is about prophecy. You know what prophecy is? Something that a brother in the spirit, something that's foretold. And that's what this Bible is about. Bring it out. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 and die now even thyself shall discontinue from thy herd. Right, so the Lord had his prophet Jeremiah speaking to his people. You know who God's people is? Israelites. So he was speaking to his people that you're going to discontinue from your heritage, right? This is a prophecy, right? You know, that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. He's going to cause you to serve your enemies, bread In the land which thou knowest not. The land that you don't even know. Right, you know? For ye have kindled the fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So, Jeremiah was prophesying to his people, which is the Israelites, that hey, in the future, what was the prophecy, that y'all going to discontinue from your heritage. Now y'all don't even know what food y'all ate, what kind of food brother in the spirit see that and we live in the prophecy right and we discontinue from my heritage we came over here in the land that we didn't know but why though because it said you have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever so why do you think we pissed the most off to cause us to be in a land that we didn't know and discontinue from my heritage what do you think that we did why does a parent have to put why does a parent have to put their child on punishment from the discipline like why did they have to do that though they couldn't control their children because they didn't do what you know you said they you just said the word they didn't what and they didn't what you said I, I thought you said listen they didn't listen yeah so they didn't listen to their word because your parents gonna tell you what you need to do what you shouldn't do now if you do those things that they shouldn't do it's gonna be discipline Right, so let me give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Because the Israelites, they made a covenant with the Lord, right? I know you know about the Ten Commandments. You heard about that, right? So the Ten Commandments, that was a, they made a covenant with the Lord. Right? Now we're now we gonna figure out why we miss it to you from our heritage, and we in a land that we don't know. All right, bring that out. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commands. So Moses, you know who Moses is, right? He split the Red Sea. He freed the Israelites out of uh, Egypt because they was in, they were slaves in Egypt. So he freed them out of there, right? And he gave them, he gave the Lord gave Moses commandments to give to the Israelites, right? And he said, what? Okay, okay. So the Ten Commandments was given to the Israelites, which was basically like a like a contract. You sign a contract, you agree to everything that's above the dotted line, right? You had a question? Okay. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a contract, which is a covenant, right? And the Lord uh the Lord told Moses to tell the Israelites if they don't keep the covenant. Right, they don't keep the commandments, what's gonna happen? And his statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is what's gonna happen if they don't listen. Like I said, if you had your parent 
and they did they discipline them is because they did the thing that they was not supposed to do right so they if they don't keep these commandments the lord is going to put curses upon them right now curse is a good thing or a bad thing it's a bad thing right and only one group of people which is the israelites today would be able to fit these things right so we're going to read a couple and you already kind of you already kind of understand the spirit but i'm gonna I'm farther prove to you how we know that we really god's people right through the things that we're going through today through the conditions that we living in right bring out uh bring out 16. curse shall thou be in the city yeah, what curse shall thou be in the city right, so, and the first thing that moses told them is y'all gonna be cursed in the city i want people living cursed in the city Right? But like, you know what I'm saying, in the, like, all the cities of America, what people, what majority is living in those cities? So-called African-Americans. Now, what people was Moses speaking to? The Israelites, that's plain. The Israelites will be, no, African-Americans will be the Israelites. Exactly. Right, and we prove it to you how we know because through the prophecy, like you said, something that's foretold, Moses foretold these things that was going to happen. That we was going to discontinue from my heritage, being a land that we didn't know, right? A be cursed in the cities. Now go to go straight to 68. Now, Solomon, now how do we get here as a people? What form of transportation? Boat. Boat. Now what if I told you that Moses said that was going to happen to the Israelites? Bring it out. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Which ship? What? Which ship? Because Egypt was synonymous to slavery. Because when they heard that word Egypt, they thought about slavery because they just left out of Egypt. Right? Where they was bondage. That's like if somebody was shooting on, if somebody, every time you come out to wash Ave, they always shoot. Now if somebody say, damn, you trying, trying to pull up to wash Ave, what you gonna think about? Them shootouts. Yeah, why? Because, why? Yeah, because they always shoot, right? So when you, when you hear Wash Ave, you just automatically link it up with shootouts, right? So when they hear that word Egypt, what you think they're thinking about? Slavery, Slavery right? right? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, into slavery again, you know? With ships. Al? With ships. Speak it up. With ships. By the way where I spake unto thee, thou shalt seek. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold. Wasn't we sold when we came over here? We were sold. Now, what's your last name? You don't mind me asking. Go ahead. Waller. Hey, that's a see that that's a white man last name. They, give me uh, give me Daniel chapter one and verse seven. Give me Daniel one and seven. Hey, they did that to our forefathers in the Bible. They gave them. You ever heard? Uh, you ever seen that um, that series of Kuta, with Kutakete in it? They gave him the name Toby, right? They gave them different names, and, and it happened in the Bible too. Bring it out. This is the book of Daniel, chapter one, verse seven. This is the book of Daniel, chapter one, verse six. Now among these were all the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Manasseh, Mishael, Azariah. Azariah. And so these was the Hebrew names. You got Daniel, Mishael, Azariah, right? Hananiah, right? These are the Hebrew names, right? But when they went into captivity, let's see what let's see what happened to them. Until whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names. Do gave names. So he gave them names. And now your name told me, right? We don't. For he gave unto Daniel the name of Bethesdas, Bethesdas, right? Yeah, keep going. And to Hananiah, Sadrach, and to Mish Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. Right, so he gave them names. Just like how in captivity, hey, we, we was given names. Now you got the last name of a so-called white man, right? And the brother said, where you was at? You said you was at uh, a place at... He was at the hospital. I was getting the, uh, gonna get a, get a, get surgery. And they, uh, called out my name. And a white man jumped up at the same time. We had the same exact name. 
Like, hey. Same first and last name because that hey that hey through the spirit, hey, our people was on he was his people was probably on that plantation. Exactly. To the, exactly. So we was given their names, right, through captivity, through slavery. So go back to 68 real quick. So he said we were going to slavery on ships, we would be sold, you know. By the way, there are, uh, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. To who? Unto your enemy. Uh, and we were sold to our enemies, the so-called white men. That's not our friend. Hey, the Lord said that those are our enemies, right? You know? For bond men and bond women. Bond men and bond women went into captivity, you know? And no man shall buy you. Buy. It just said that we was going to be sold, so that buy means to redeem. Because no man was able to redeem us out of this captivity. Didn't everybody try? Nat Turner tried doing captivity, caused the revolt, but that didn't go nowhere. All right, you got Marcus Garvey trying to march back to uh, Africa. That didn't work. You got uh, Malcolm X. Uh, you got all these people, but it didn't work. They weren't able to redeem us out of here. You know who going to redeem us and, and purchase us? Give me the book. Of, give me the book of Acts chapter five and verse thirty. Let's go back to that. Acts five and thirty. Because give me uh, give me Revelation one and four one and fourteen. Because they gave us this image right here. They gave us this image right here and wanted us to believe that this guy is our Lord and Savior. That this guy is gonna crack the sky. And come to a white man, our oppressor, the, the the person that put us in captivity. We we looking for him to save us. Make that make sense? Why do we? Why does our people serve a God that doesn't look like us? Doesn't every other nation got their own God? Said what? The own way of belief, right? But now we gotta come into the Bible and see what's the truth, right? Because that's not you know that's not what you look like in the Bible, right? What do you look like? What do you look like in the Bible? See that? He did. Give me the book of uh, give me the book of uh, Revelation. So this is gonna this is gonna reveal to you how who they call Jesus looks like in the Bible. Go to, uh, Revelation one one. This is the book of Revelation, chapter chapter one verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God have gave unto him to shoot unto his servants these things which must shortly come to pass. Like I said, this is the re revelation, the revealing of who they call Jesus Christ. Jump down to 12. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. This is a man named John the Revelator, right? He's turning to see the voice that spake with him. Because somebody, if somebody spoke behind you, what you going to do? Yeah, somebody behind you speaking, what you going to do? You going to turn around, right? You're, gonna, you're just going to listen to him with your back turned. Yeah, you're going to turn around, right? So, hey, that's what John the Revelator did. He turned around like, who behind me? Yeah, who, who is that? Right? And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven go and, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the Son of Man. The Son of Man is what they call Jesus Christ, we don't. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So back in the ancient days, they had a long garment on. They had skinnies on. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 car and cargoes. He said, What? Exactly. You know? And girt about the path with a golden cur girdle. They had, they had girdles on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. I was going to get into how his hair was. He said, His hair, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, if you look at this image, does he have white hair? Right now, if you look at this image, it said white and woolly. Now, what you said as woolly texture hair? Yeah, like like sheep, like a sheep, right? You try to put a, you try to put a pick through it, and it's really not going to work, right? So he said it's white and woolly. We don't as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Eyes was fiery red. Now, when you see these images, is his eyes ever? Is his eyes red. What color are they? They blue, like baby blue, right? They call that recessive genes, right? 
blue, green. It's got it's recessive genes. Right? Right, we don't. And his feet. Until hey, he got feet. So we do got a body. Right? He got feet as an invisible man. He was literally in the flesh. Right, we don't? And his feet. Like unto fine brass. His feet was like brass. What color is that? Brass. Close to brown, it's like it's like goldish brown, right? But but let's see it. Let's see it kind. Let's see how dark you look. As if they burn in the furnace. As if they what? As if they burn in the furnace. So if you throw that in the furnace in the oven, it's gonna get darker, right? Exactly. So that's how that's how who they call Jesus Christ looked like. He had woolly hair, dark skin, right? So 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 who is this guy? So who is this guy? The imposter. All right? How you feel about how you feel about them lying to you and making our people believe in a lie? Not saying our, our people as a whole, because our people do believe that this is their Lord and Savior. They're gravely manipulated. Don't, don't that make you mad that our people was gravely manipulated to believe a lie? So, hey, this image right here, well, that's why we have the horns on it, because devil just means a deceiver, right? And they deceive, they deceive the whole world to believe a lie. That's right. To believe that Jesus, in the Bible, is a black man, is really white, right? But that's a lie, right? So, bring this out. I brought that out to bring this out. Bring it out. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers... Praised up Jesus. Praised up who? Praised up Jesus. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with, with his right hand. To be a prince and a savior. Hold on, check this last verse out. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, I got two more verses for you. Bring it up. To be a prince and a savior. For to give me pages. To do what? For to give me pages to Israel. So who? To and what else? And forgiveness of sin. And so, the, this dark skinned man with woolly hair, right? His Die real up. name is Yahawashad. And he died for the sins of Israel. And forgiveness of sins. You follow him, brother? Right? And he said only for Israel. Who is Israel? What people is the Israelites? So called African Americans, right? And everybody on this sign. So called. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will make up on the, on the Western Hemisphere will make up the twelve tribes of Israel. Right? So hey, Jesus, what they call Jesus was what they call Jesus. He died for your sins, brother. Meaning now you gotta repent. Because why did we go through these curses? What did we do? Then we thought it was the thing that the Lord told us to do. Listen to what? To do what? His word, yeah. But it was his commandments that we were supposed to keep. We were supposed to keep the commandments, right? But now, through your ignorance and not knowing the commandments of the Lord and not knowing that you was an Israelite, hey, now it's time to repent. Now it's time to turn back to the Lord. Now it's time to start doing the things as an Israelite that the Lord sent you up to be. Right? You got to You gotta, I know you gotta keep it pushing. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. What? Fear God and keep his commandments. We gotta fear God and keep his commandments, we don't. For this is the whole duty of man. What? For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man that we fear God and keep his commandments, brother. Right? So, you know what I'm saying? Before you go, who are we? We the Israelites. We're not, black, we're not black men. We're not African Americans. And we the Israelites. Uh, one more, real quick, real quick, real quick. Give me, uh, let me do Robbie seven and six. Let me show you what the Lord think about His people. All right. Let you walk up or something. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna kind of make you feel good in the spirit. Bring it up. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Put down on holy people unto the Lord thy God. And you holy to the Lord, uh, to his to him. And brother, he said you holy, meaning you separate. You separate. You know? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Yeah, what? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord has chosen thee. He chose our people, you know? To be a special people unto himself. To be what? To be a special people unto himself. And you, you listen how you walk on. And we are special people, brother. Right? And ain't other people like us, you know? Come out here and tell them, hey, if you don't repent, you're going to get put to death. That's not, hey, that's the Lord.